On the 9th of September, you are supposed to be in court personally. Can you tell this court where you are? Paragraph 24. My Lord, still on this date, I was still in northeastern and particularly in Wajia, those areas of Huluko, Korfarar, and Konton, my Lord. Huluko? Huluko, Korfarar, <coughs> Konton, Korfarar. Huluko? Korofarar, Konto, Korofaran and where else? And Karsa. That is paragraph 24. My Lord, may I proceed? I just want them to see those areas. You said paragraph 24, <coughs> yes. yes. Uh, paragraph, we're referring to paragraph 24 and 25. Those areas are not mentioned. Yes. Yes, but he was meant to be in court, my lord. Oh, he's on oath anyway. Yes, Proceed. he's on oath and he was meant to be in court. So the, the, the last area is Ulgo Korofan and Wales? Karsa, Karsa, my lord. Those are FOBs, the forward operating bases for the officers okay. in the northeastern, my lord. All right. Then you are sentenced on the 13th of September where you were meant to be in court. Can you indicate to the court where you are then? <coughs> on the 13th of September 2024? On that very day, my Lord, I was still on my way now downwards because from Wajia we had to come back to those sites of Karisa and in Karisa we had to traverse to those forward operating places of our officers like in Wilmerer and Fafi. My Lord. <coughs> now, <coughs> was your failure to come to court deliberate or a deliberate act of lack of respect for the court? My Lord, it was not a deliberate failure because I had also requested my assistant to come and represent me and the legal officer to do the same, my lord. Now, this petition relates to missing persons who are petitioner number two, three, and four, Bob Njagi, Jamil Longton, and Aslam Longton. Yes, my lord. <coughs> have they been in police custody at all? My lord, they have not been in police custody. And I just learned this morning from Rebo Harvey that they have been found, my lord. So you, you learned from who that they have been found? from President Retired Emeritus LSK Harvey. Can we have some silence, please? Some silence. So, you learned from who? I learned from the Emeritus LSK President Harvey. <laughs> so, sorry, just a minute. I just want to capture what you are saying. You learned that those people have been what? I learned that those people have been found from Harvey, my okay. lord. Oh, this morning? This morning. All right, thank you. And how did you learn? Where did he say it? He said it before this court, my lord. Okay. Did he describe the condition in which they are? I did not get it clear, my lord. Okay. So, now that we are here... Just a minute, Sorry, Mr. Mila, because now that 
is coming from him, what he has heard from Mr. Harvey. Yes. Mr. Harvey, is that factual what you told the court? Is it factual? I just wanted, yes, let me find out because you said it in your submissions. So I just wanted also to find out whether it is factual. Yes, it's true. All right. I stated in court that uh, there are reports that have been released. All right. The report was made by the President of the North Side. All right, thank you. I think that's it. You alarm everybody that the President of the North Side opinion knows that these people are at least. All right. <laughs> All right. Proceed. My Lord, perhaps you can also tell the court uh, the condition in which they are. No. Mira, <laughs> <laughs> proceed. Thank you, my Lord. <laughs> now that we are in this situation, um, what would you like to tell the court? My Lord, I want to thank you for the opportunity you have accorded me to start before you. Before I say anything, my Lord, I would like to apologize to the Lordship and the judiciary for the events that have transpired leading to the orders of this court. My Lord, I respect you and all our gods for the good work that you do to uphold the rule of law. As a police officer, it is my duty to enforce court orders and ensure that court orders are obeyed. I pray, my Lord, that this court accepts my apology, vacates conviction and sentence, so I pray, my Lord, 